I'm so inspired in this space now that all I want to do is create, 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 create. Welcome to my brand new downtown art studio. Today, I'm super excited to finally give you a tour of my art studio. The first thing you'll notice is all the natural light, which is incredible. This would normally be the open concept kitchen, dining, and living area in the apartment, but for me, I'm using it as a place to create bigger projects, do large paintings, and just have another workspace in the studio. One of my favorite things about this space is the super tall ceilings and the large windows that let in light everywhere. These windows overlook the main street in downtown Columbus. It's a super small downtown, but it's still pretty cool to have a studio right in the heart of downtown Columbus. As we pan around the room, the first room we're gonna come to is kitchen, right off this little living space. It is a tiny little kitchen, but it is perfect for me and a studio. Right off the kitchen is the only hallway in the studio. There's a closet in the hallway, and then we have a bathroom, and then the two other rooms in the studio. But let's go check out the bathroom real quick. Nothing special here, just a bathroom with the sink, toilet, and a bath. Um, there's me. Hi. Uh, let's go check out the rest of the studio. Next, we're going to go in the game slash shipping room. Uh, this is where the kids like to hang out. Grown up, finally I have this art studio and it's amazing. I am right downtown in Arts Alley, downtown Columbus. I mean, the street I am on is literally art. It is art. The walls are art. The street is art. Our art gallery is down here. It's just an incredible place to be located for an art studio. Now the boys are here with me a lot after school, before sports, so I wanted to set up a little gaming area with some beanbag chairs so that they had a place to hang out while they were here. But I also use this as my shipping center and a place to store my products that I saw on my website. This little rack right here, I keep all my frames for my dollar bills and some of my products. And this larger rack is where I have all my shipping products and just some cool little collectibles this is my little shipping desk. I package up all my dollar bill drop stuff here. And then on the wall up here, I have some artwork from friends that I've met on social media and just through the art scene. All right, let's head over to my favorite space in the studio, the main recording room, AKA where the magic happens. Okay, a part of this video is a Q&A. It's been a long time since I've been on YouTube except for short form content. So I thought it might be a really good time to catch up with you guys. And we're just gonna pull up some of the questions that I got and get through as many of them as possible. All right, first question is from Nicholas. That's good, good seeing you again in the comments. What helped you with getting sponsor connections like Posca or Arteza? You know what, I'm, I'm not really sure what the answer to that is. I know for me, I just stayed really consistent. I've been doing this for years now, consistently making art for three, two years on YouTube and Instagram. Um, so I think just, you know, being consistent and continually posting stuff, obviously using their products a lot. I share on social media, I tag them, I've messaged them, you know, kind of just reaching out, letting them know I like their product or I would love to work with them. Once we made the connections and I got to know people that worked in the company, it was really cool. It's just been, it's been really awesome working with both of those companies. Uh, yeah, we'll move on to the next question. Thanks for the question, man. Um, what inspired you to become an artist? We were pretty poor growing up, didn't have a lot to do. Um, so I drew, I drew a lot. It was just something I enjoyed doing. Um, when there's not a lot to do, you kind of do what you can with what you have. So there was always something to draw on, paper, walls, brand new dressers that your mom buys. So um, yeah, I think, you know, it's just something that I started doing when I was younger and then I kept with it, kept with it, loved doing it. Yeah, I did it all through school. I had a lot of art classes added to me as a senior that we didn't have before. I think in my high school, we went up to like advanced art three. And when I graduated, 
my amazing art teacher who's passed away now, Mr. Miller. He actually created so many art classes when I graduated, I was in Advanced Art 9. So I was in a lot of these classes by myself, but it was really cool that, you know, they saw that I was passionate about this and they allowed me to continue to grow, you know, in my artistic career and uh, my skills. So that was really cool. It wasn't until my kids came around, brought that inspiration back and really got me going. And then they were the ones that got me into this whole YouTube social media thing. So yes, that's kind of how I got here and what inspired me. Thanks for the question. All right, here is the main studio. I love the way this looks, all the natural light. I've got all of my stuff from my old studio at my house in here, plus more because it's so much bigger. There is the silver play button. I love that thing. And for those of you that have been around and seen the channel, this background kind of looks the same because I just brought it over from the old studio. I just didn't put the TV up in the middle. I have something a little different in mind this time. I got this cool little plaque, the Reader's Choice Award. I was runner up for custom artwork here in Columbus. Best believe I'm coming for first place next year. <laughs> This is the main view from my desk. Looking up at those super tall ceilings again and thankful there's a fan because it does get hot in here sometimes. And you'll see I brought over my Posca stash. I've got them up there on their crates. And then if you look on the wall, there are those little hexagon things. Those are actually the lights that you put in garages. Uh, but I thought it would be a really cool accent wall in the studio. Just need to wire them up still. And here we are again with these awesome views downtown of Washington Street and Arts Alley. Look at the mural on the wall there, on the streets. There is the art gallery down there by the mail truck. It's just an amazing space to create art. At Bird Bunny Lady asked, do you do other art besides cartoons? <laughs> it's funny because what I love to do and what I was real passionate about was photorealism, color pencil work, kind of mixed media with markers too. So I used to do a lot of that. And then when I started getting more into the social media side of art, I needed to, you know, try to be more consistent and get more content out with you guys. So I started doing a lot of the cartoon stuff. You know, my kids liked it. It's quicker. I will sometimes, I would sometimes spend 75 hours on a realistic drawing. And any of you that make content, it is really hard to make consistent content on one piece that you're spending over 100 hours on. So it's definitely much easier for content and creation to do the cartoonier stuff. But no, I love doing all kinds of art. I've done murals, realism, some painting. I kind of just dabble in everything, but currently I am hooked on making dollar art, which I, I know all of you have seen. Don't know that everyone likes it, but it's great. There's a, a big following for it. It's really fun to make art on something different and it's fun making those videos. Somebody has asked, what is your favorite short of yours? You know what? I think my favorite one is probably with my son, Liam. Um, he, he is a little artist. He is eight now. It's crazy. Liam is eight years old. We need to get him back on the channel. Um, but he loves art and it's so much fun making videos with him. But we did a video where he took one of my old drawings. I'll link it down below. It was a Ninja Turtle drawing I did years ago when I was in high school. And he kind of just, you know, he, he kind of like brought into the new age with the Posca markers and did some of the trends that were going around on TikTok and Instagram, YouTube. Um, but yeah, I think that was probably my favorite one and, and I was barely even in that. So just there helping him, you know, kind of showing him what to do. But yeah, but I think that's my favorite short that we posted. And it has, I think it has over 10 million views. So it did really well. And then I think, um, you know, one that I was a part of was probably, um, I love the dollar art shorts. Definitely love those. We've got some and I think 20 million views maybe. Um, but I think the Bowser drawing, cartoon versus realism that I did. I, that video, the drawing, everything, it turned out so well. The song that Jack Black sings in the movie with the video, it was just perfect. And it has millions of views too. So I think that that's probably the one that I was involved with that's my favorite. All right, now we're gonna move over to the Instagram questions and I'm gonna relocate in front of the green screen area. All right, now that we're finally set up with this shot uh, in front of the green screen area, hopefully it looks really cool. This is my first time using it. I've had it for or probably over a year, never used it. Got a space in the new studio for it, so we're gonna use it. Now we're gonna get on to Instagram and check out some of the questions you guys had for me. This is from DJ Flash 2010 
What is something that makes you really happy every time that you do it? You know, that finished product, not just the art piece, but now you know that I'm, I'm getting more comfortable with editing and the camera stuff. It's definitely seeing that final piece on the phone, like the actual finished video. It, it makes me smile every time. I love showing my kids. You know, they're super excited when a new video comes out. They want to all watch together. So definitely that final piece. It, it gets me every time. All right, on Instagram, Unique Sketch in Art asked, when's the next collab with CHC? I get this a lot. Um, you know what? I, I'm here because of that show that I made it on. Thank you so much, Zach, uh, for having me on that show. It was such, such a learning experience. I know I've talked about it before, but I was so out of my element, but I wouldn't be here without any of that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And then, you know, afterwards for like a year or two, I was flying to Texas, to LA, doing crafts videos with them, working with them. It was amazing, you know, but it got kind of hard. Um, my wife and I have four boys. They are all in sports. My wife owns a dance studio. So it was hard on my family, you know, for me to be away, um, you know, all the way across the country pretty much and her doing it all by herself. So, you know, I just decided to take a break from traveling. Um, and that's not to say that I won't ever collab with them. I love those guys. They're, they're some really good friends. Love everyone on that team. Um, so, you know what, it, it might still happen. I'm not saying it's not going to, but there's nothing planned right now. I've been really focused on, you know, my family, my art career, um, my content career, and you know, this studio. So that's kind of where my head's at now, but. I'm sure I'll, I will definitely work with them again. All right, I've got a couple questions from the same person here. This is on Instagram. Their first question is, how long have you been drawing? Um, I'm an old man now. I'm 37 years old, I know. 37, it's crazy, making videos on, on social media. Um, no, I've, I've been making art as long as I can remember. Yeah, I mean, being a little kid, a toddler, drawing on things I probably wasn't supposed to, I've just always made art um, all through school. Never really stopped, so it's it's a long time. Probably longer than a lot of you watching have been alive. Um, and their next question is, how long does it take to make a drawing? And that really, I kind of touched on that earlier. Depends on what it is I'm making. Um, realistic stuff takes so much longer. There's a lot of detail. And I once I get going on a realistic piece, it's hard for me to stop because you can zoom in on these tablets now, these computers, and see every little pore, every little shiny white piece on someone's nose, highlight, whatever, on the hair. It can take months, honestly. It depends on how big they are, how detailed. Um, but you know, the dollar art I've been doing recently, I can get one of those done with the video in like four to five hours if it's a single bill. So it really just depends on what you're making. All right, and the last question we'll go over, um, somebody asked, how much does your art cost? I, I do so many different sizes, so many different mediums that it's hard to just give you like a basic price. Um, but I will link my website down below. It's always linked in the description of these YouTube videos. Um, you can go on there and check out the prices. It's really just all different. It just depends on what it is. I, my cheeks hurt so much just from filming this video and smiling. It's, I, I've not shown it to a lot of people. You know, my family has seen it. Um, a couple people here and there, but it's so exciting finally seeing it almost finished and getting to share it with you guys. Um, again, none of this would be possible without you guys. I cannot thank you enough. And, and I promise I'm gonna be working on more long form content, keeping my short form content because I, I think that's what I love doing the most, but I really need to get some long form content out there for you guys. I miss it. I miss the longer videos, um, bigger projects, but yeah, I, I cannot wait. I, I'm so inspired in this space now that all I wanna do is create. If there's something you guys wanna see me do, please let me know in the comments. I wanna make videos that you guys wanna watch and I wanna make videos that I'm having fun doing. I'm just happy to be in this space. I'm happy to share it with you guys and I cannot wait to post more videos for you guys. If you guys haven't been watching my short form content with the dollar bill drops that I'm doing, please go check it out. There are a ton of dollar art content on there. Um, but yeah, there's more to come soon. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for the questions. Thank you for touring my new studio with me. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.